Hello and welcome back to Hana Fancies. Today I'm just gonna take you along with my vlog from the 25th of December to New Year. So first of all, this is on Christmas evening. My family and I went to a bakery ingredients shop to buy some more flour since my dad was really into baking at that very moment and so we've run out of a lot of ingredients and so we went there and the vibe of the shop was just so lovely like all the Santa Claus miniatures and lovely cardboard box or paper boxes that's just amazing and then so around that area was like the shopping centre um, dead center of Bangkok actually and so we went to had um, dinner there around there it's called Siam, Siam Square and so we had hot pot so if you don't know what that is it's just like you have a stock um, broth and so you just put um, vegetables or meat in there and let it boil and then you just from there use the chopsticks to just pick those in um, food up and have them so basically that meal was just so wholesome and it was healthy as well so highly recommend if you come to Thailand it's very popular especially for friends gathering or family reunion many people just prefer hot pot that on those days and then so since we have already finished the food we came to the shopping center and so i saw this um it's like rollerblading area and honestly i personally can't rollerblade and so it's just an amazing sight to see people playing all those things and i just imagine like it's an ice rink just like in new york or in other places which is that there's no ice so you need some roller things instead and so here's like a kind of like a open area for people to come and take photo shoots and so it's free everything is just amazing especially the songs and so um here are just some of the views i just I just would love, I would love to have you see it. Oh my god, my English is very bad today. And so, yeah, uh, you can see the Sky Train station there as well, which is amazing. And so now, since the outside is quite hot, we move into the air conditioned shopping center. And so, we move into here and we see this um, kind of like a garden oasis in the middle of everything with all those golden and white stars it's just amazing i just love this place so much especially these mirror waterfalls they're just so calming and relaxing and so after this let me just kind of like show you uh two pictures that i have taken from the outside these are like the one of the best I've taken this Christmas day, so yeah. Moving back in, inside, uh, I saw these um, ladies in like very tall figure and like they're just providing <laughs> kind of like a photo shoot with the people, so that was just great as well. And then we move like just walking when they're shopping in the centre and I have to say there's a lot of people in there, but it was still quite, you know, um, quieter and more spacious than other years, you know? And so here we see a Matrix advertisement about like the new movie coming. Have you guys seen it? Because like, I haven't. And so then we move on to uh, my favorite book store, bookshop, bookstore, which is Kinakunia, and it's in the Paragon or Siam Paragon shopping mall, one of the most well known here in Bangkok. It's like a very, very large um, bookstore, more like a library already, and the vibe inside is amazing with like wooden floor at certain points and just like aesthetic. Um, book sorting ideas. I was just gonna walk through the place right now and so hopefully you guys enjoy the site. And so since I'm in a bookshop I need to read some crime books because like that's a what I usually do. And so here are all the crimes books I've seen and now we will start a book haul. 
So first of all, this is the corner I spent uh, most of the, my time there, and this is the book I read, The Christmas Egg. It's like a collection of many um, Christmas crimes and things as well, and so this is the murder of Roger Ackroyd. It's like one of my new want to read thing, as well as this 100 Reason to Hope. Um, this is very amazing it just catches my eye at that moment it says it's a children's book but honestly it says the sun will shine on you again and the clouds will go away remember that tomorrow will be a good day and this is like this is not only for children it's for everyone and I figure this is one of like the best words I've like read in so long so yeah then we move to the mysterious benedict society this one personally i have heard of like many good opinions towards it and so i feel like um yeah i should try at a certain point this year or maybe sometimes later so yeah that's it and then we move to this one which i really like the idea of like the cover lemon is naked and the last one here the hat makers it's so hyped like these days or like some months ago so i was very interested in how the story was and this one is not for the plot but i just want to show how creative this cover is with the newspaper kind of like layer la layer ring layer ring and with all those you know kits running all looks like paper but so lively as well and so then, after a long, 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 long hour, we move uh, out of the bookshop and just um, head home. Arriving home, I decided to help my dad um, bake. It's not actually bake because we've already done the baking in the afternoon, so it's like I was left with um, making the glazing of the cake, and honestly, I messed up because. I mistakenly read um, 130 gram of sugar into 230 so I end up having to like spoon out all those excess sugar uh, but apart from that everything just went so smoothly and fine and so here you can see me um, glazing the cake and you can see that uh, it was not the best job I've done this is not my strong trade decorating cakes um, so this is a lemon cake with dried prunes on top and yes with um, some sprinkles of lemon zest as well. I would have to say it was very very amazing and so yeah you can see here it just looks so nice. I miss it, I've already finished all those cakes. We have given some of them to the others as well and this cake goes so well with um, tea, especially fruit tea. And then we watched some documentaries on the DW News, it's about like the origin of Santa Claus and things like that. And then we watched about the news about the launch of the James Webb into the rocket's nose cone. The telescope will scan the heavens using long wave infrared light. Astronomers will be able to look back towards the Big Bang nearly 14 billion years ago. Back to the origins of the universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies. And then on the next day I decided to bake banana cake with some help of my dad. And honestly this one tastes so good even though I messed up a little with the salt proportion. On the 27th of December, I, my sister and my mom went to, went for a walk. We, and so here is some, uh, you know, aesthetic um, appreciation of how the footpath looked. Just really amazing. Everything's like golden and calming, I guess. It's, it's just Christmas Day, but tropical at the same time, which is something, um, you can't find anywhere else and then on the last day of december because honestly i forgot to film the two previous days we went on a cafe in kind of like a countryside ish area and so here are some little lovely fish for you uh i don't know how you call these fish in english but uh, they're just like part of my childhood and part of the still present to me they're 
they are very they are they were very colorful and they just give me those fresh feeling feeling energized and recharged again so i just love these colorful fish so much After appreciating the fish, I came across this mini rose, so uh, I was so cute. I've never seen such little small rose before, so yeah. I then we went for a walk um, along the kind of like a country road, country road, and so saw this amazing um, orange paper flower. Uh, I just like it really much that it's orange, never seen this color before. Happy New Year guys, it's midnight and it's yeah the 1st of January 2022 now. Um, from my house I was really lucky to see a lot of firework shows or illuminations and a lot of things like that. So lucky me, I'm just going to leave you to enjoy this uh, thrilling vibe for a while and then I'll come back with this new tonight. And so for the first meal of the day, we actually had just the um, normal, ordinary jam and bread. And so after we have heard of my sister's talented piano playing, uh, let me just show my horrible piano practice on the 1st of January. So basically, it's almost my 17th birthday now, and I've just realized that I forgot to practice the song that has always been my dream since 14 that I want to play the song 16 going on 17 by Rogers, uh, Richard Rogers and um, so uh, without any more delay I just start practicing and at this point it might sound very horrible even though I have put it on um, the twice the speed now but it still sounds very bad but let me tell you that at this very moment, I am voiceovering. Um, my performance gets has be has become very better now, so don't worry. And then for the first official meal of the day, because that jam bread is not enough, went to another shopping mall around our house, and so we had some um, noodles because my dad said it's great always great to start a year with noodles and also dumplings because like i think that's a chinese belief or something but anyway anything that benefits your well-being and luckiness i would just advocate with those things and there's nothing wrong with trying these things right so we went for noodles japanese ramen actually i actually baked cornbread but i missed the footage last reminder of this new year you don't have to be the new year 
just be the same old you, you know. You don't have to be superhero, that's more than enough. So anyway, take care. Hope you have an amazing year ahead and yeah.